Welcome back guys, this video is going to be really cool and you'll enjoy it and you'll also probably learn a little more than you do in most of our videos if you're not learning a lot already. But in today's video we're going to be seeing which, video, which uh, one of these items here prevents rust the best. We did a video on this in the past previously and we the experiment we did wasn't so good, we had a lot of flaws in it so this time we're going to be going through and perfecting it and seeing what really actually prevents rust the best. Let's jump into the video. Right now I'm just going to take you through all the different uh, items that we're using, or I don't know what to call them, to prevent the rust. This first one we're going to do uh, muriatic acid, so we're just going to dip the, right there, a piece of metal in acid and then see if that helps prevent the rust. We have Johnson's paste wax, boiled linseed oil, tongue oil, 3-in-1 oil, WD-40, and beeswax. Here's all the metal that we're testing. We have a control right there, you know, and all different things lined out. This is the board we're using. We're keeping it outside and we're spraying it evenly and perfect, not perfectly, but as even as we can get it, all three, all eight pieces with water every single day and we're going to leave it outside for a week. Okay, so that's going to be the setup for our experiment. And let's get uh, putting the, the stuff on the metal. Actually, we're going to go ahead and use some acetone. My glove, my hands are clean, and we're going to clean these all, get everything off of them, so we have them nice and set ready to start the experiment. All right, we're going to apply the first thing, and we're just going to take this muriatic acid, and we're going to dip, oh, come on, get in there. Dip this metal in it, and we'll leave it there until it gets nice, and it's not really etching it, just until it gets that nice gray acid tone. Let's go ahead and do the other ones now. All of it is all set up. They have all their things on it. Let's go outside, set it up, spray it down with water, and wait a week. We'll see you guys once we set it up in a week. All right, it's set up. Let's spray it down with water now. We gotta get it real, even as we can do it. All right, that looks even enough to me. Let's wait a week, and we'll see you guys in another week. All right, guys, here's the results from after a week of letting it sit outside and spraying it with water three times a day. Uh, the control, as you can tell, very rusted. I actually think the acid is a little more rusted. This is our Johnson's wax, Johnson's paste wax, linseed oil, our tongue oil, three-in-one oil, WD-40 and beeswax. And I'm gonna hurry up and arrange it from what I think is the first, so the best, to the worst real fast. And here is them ordered from the first place to last place. I'm just gonna go over and explain why I put them in uh, these uh, rankings and hopefully you guys agree with me too. Beeswax, the first one here, uh, there is practically absolutely no rust on there. There's a little discoloration. I don't know how good you guys can see it. Little discoloration, no rust at all. Linseed oil, you start to get these teeny little spots of rust and a little bit down here. Mainly though, it's just discoloration and a little bit of rust. Tongue oil is almost Perfect for in the most parts, but you get these kind of drops that got more rusted than I think the linseed oil did, so I put it in third place. Johnson's paste wax, as you can see, I just had these bad spots here, but most of it is really good. It's really good stuff. These four up here, I think would work great, because you gotta remember guys, these are outside getting sprinkled with a hose three times a day for a week, and that's how they held up. WD-40, kind of surprised me, 
Uh, it did very well. Just a little bit, of, a little bit, really bad rust spot right there, but otherwise it did great. Three and one. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. Uh, it's not my favorite, as you can tell why. It performed a lot less uh, good than the other ones did. There's a lot of rust there. Not so good. And the control, you can see this. The control, I just meant I put nothing on it. And three and one didn't do that much better than the control. The control did pretty bad, though, as expected. It shouldn't be that good. But acid did even worse. The acid, it did not help prevent rust in the slice. I think it actually enhanced the rust. And here's something also to look at. The back side of the acid compared to the control, the acid is the rustiest one here by far. The control has had like a little bit of darkening, but the acid just got rusted out. So that's my rankings. Uh, comment below what you guys think you guys would have done any differences, and also what you guys, uh, what your best rust preventer that you found. Because I found before, I've done another video, in my last video, tongue oil actually performed the best, and beeswax did very good. But in this one, beeswax did a little better. So my personal favorites are these three here. I usually just stick with these because they're a little more easy to apply, and this one works great on handles. This works great on handles. The actual blade, though, is really hard to keep anything on there. That's going to prevent rust. But as long as you just reapply, 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 you should be good on preventing rust on your blades or on other metal. If you guys are here or not, because I'm a knife making channel, just because you want to know how to prevent rust on your metal parts. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoy making it for you guys. Uh, it was a cool experiment, and uh, I know I've done it before in the past. You guys, go check that video. There'll be a card up there. But uh, please share this video with your friends. You know, we're a small channel. We're trying to grow, trying to get bigger, trying to like start a presence here and get a little company going. So uh, please subscribe, share this video, like it, leave a comment for us what you think, and uh, hopefully you guys like the results of it and you can use it in uh, your everyday use. But uh, subscribe. See you guys later.